So we've pulled up at Ballara Station and um, I think I've booked, but <laughs> I hope so, uh, dinner. So they're doing a roast dinner tonight. Yeah. So I think I've booked, hopefully. I hope you booked. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, if, we're, if we have, we're going to have roast dinner. Yeah. Okay, we've just come down to the Wolf Shed Cafe and they do gluten-free scones. So big thumbs up, Grant's super happy. And we're gonna give them a go. Yep, you bring your own plate just to save on washing up and stuff. And yeah, not too bad. I was worried about them putting all the jam and the cream on because people do it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, that seems about right. Not too much, not too little. Anyway, ready? Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. I have to say that's a pretty good scone. Especially considering that it's gluten free. It's actually, that's, that's pretty good. Because they claim, they claim that this is a, um, that they do the best scones in WA. I think they say Australia, but like you always sort of roll your eyes at that sort of stuff. But oh, WA at least, yeah, for sure. This is not bad. washing day and while we're in Mandra um, parked up I thought it was a good idea both of us thought it was a good idea to buy a washing machine and I went out and bought it and I did all the measurements and I picked it up and I got it home hoping it would fit under our, our bed in our tunnel boot so that we could have it permanently attached into the caravan and use it from there but unfortunately how many, like it's about one centimetre too high? Yeah, one and a half centimetre. So it's probably, <laughs> so anyway, it's too tall to sit under our bed at the moment. So we've had it strapped in the back of the car and just pulled it out to give it a go. Oh. It's probably this bit that's just the part that's too tall, right? Uh, no, it's actually the cross member for the bed um, lifting lid thing. Yeah. Came across here. Oh, okay. And here, and oh, like here and there or something. Yeah, yeah. so. Um, well, good not idea. ideal, but. No. It works. So for now, it works in the carrying it in the back of the canopy. But once we get back to Sydney and get a new canopy, that won't work anymore. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> so I think we'll probably end up getting a smaller or a different type of washing machine to go under the bed. Because we were skeptical at first, but we it turns out people were right. <laughs> you know, they are handy to have. So we'll probably stick with one and I'll permanently plumb it under under the bed in the tunnel boot. And um should we should we sleep? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Editing Grant and Bianca here. Uh, we are just interrupting the video for a little bit. We're editing and we've noticed that there's no audio for the, the next half of the video. <laughs> yeah, the camera just decided that um, you don't need to hear us talk, which is probably <laughs> a good thing. Yeah. But we're about to do some cooking. 
So you kind of want to have something. We're just going to have an attempt at narrating. Yeah. First time ever. So <laughs> I don't know what style, like a David Attenborough-esque, or are we just going to do like a sportsman-like Channel 9 blow by blow? Or are we doing like calling a calling a, a horse race or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But uh, we're going to do a little bit of a voiceover. Um, we're going to watch the footage ourselves now and <laughs> talk you through what what's happening in our in our voiceless yeah. video. Please bear with us. <laughs> I hope it doesn't suck too much. Okay, guys, so I had some leftover bananas and I thought it would be a good idea to use them up. They were going a bit dead. And so I was thinking that maybe I also had some chocolate <laughs> out. Maybe I should make some muffins. <laughs> yep, so we can make some banana choc chip oat muffins. I've got these tins that I picked up from Kmart. Uh, probably about two dollars for the four of them. Peel your bananas and chuck them in a bowl and give them a bit of a mash. Then I'm going to add in two eggs. Add in about three tablespoons of brown sugar. Add also about three quarters of a cup of self-raising flour. About a third of a cup of oats. and give it a good mix. I've broken off just two rows of the chocolate and just chopped it up roughly so I can add it through the mix. Hot tip. Let it out of the fridge for a while. It's a little bit hard to cut when it's hard, as you can see. <laughs> okay, once it's all chopped, just add your chocolate into your mix and give it a bit of a stir. Divide your mix up evenly across your trays. I've been finding that about one cup of flour is enough for the four containers, uh, four muffin tins, and works really well. I'll just chuck it in the oven for probably about 18 minutes and just cook them until a skewer comes out clean and then she's good to go. They're pretty tasty. So next up I am making muffin mix number two and I had some spinach in the fridge that was going very wilty and I thought I might use that up. And I had some pumpkin that I've been roasting off in the oven. So, yep, pumpkin, chopped it up, put it in the oven for about 20 minutes to roast off. I'm using about a cup of self-raising flour. Salt and pepper. and two eggs. Mm -hmm. 
So I probably had about three quarters of a cup of milk. Roughly chop up a, as much spinach as you want in your dish. Try to be quiet doing it because the sound lures in the Labrador. <laughs> he always comes whenever he hears anything chopping. So add in your pumpkin and then add in your feta. I probably should have mixed the flour and the milk and the eggs together before I added these ingredients, but I didn't. Made it a little bit more difficult for myself, but... You don't do that. It worked fine. <laughs> Just mix until it's all combined. And then obviously I needed a little bit more milk. and then divide up again in your, in your little muffin tins. Again, in the oven for probably about 18 minutes until a skewer comes out clean. We ended up eating these for lunch with a little bit of green tomato chutney and some ham. It was delicious. So when you're in Polara Station, you have to go check out the rain showers or the donkey shower. Obviously Grant doesn't fit underneath. So he opted out of having the shower. Obviously when you're at Ballara Station, you have to have a shower in one of these, but the water isn't warm at all. It was barely lukewarm. It was pretty cold. <laughs> Grant opted out of having a shower and he didn't fit anyway. So we found the, the normal hot water showers. 